Hello, I'm Martin Fenska and welcome to another episode of Let's Try Star Tactics. Uh, today we'll enter the crew quarters and uh, find out if there is still someone alive. But before that, I want to change one thing uh, here. We can set the, the game difficulty, and I want to send. So I want to set the ground combat difficulty to maximum. So I think we can handle that easily. But um, I'll keep the space combat difficult or normal. Uh, I've never tried that before, so I don't want to make it too difficult. And space incursions... Well, well, let's leave it this way. We can always change it later if we want to. But uh, we'll see. I really have uh, no idea how this space combat stuff works yet. Okay. So that's the difficulty, and now we can return to the game and finally enter uh, the crew quarters. Let's see. Yeah, this doesn't sound too friendly. And now we have finally, like, the real zombies. Or, well, it's not zombies, it's the phage infected people. But, I think I'll call them zombies from now. And uh, I think we'll use the usual strategy. Uh, just fight them in the doors. Turn around. Maybe we can move the melee people forward if they can still move. I don't think so. I think... Yeah too close to the wall or I'm blocked by the other members of the team. Whatever, let's just stay here then. Our tank can stay in the front, but we'll move back. Maybe even one more aisle. And same here. Okay, so whom do we have? David Graben and Sarah Benz, in case we need those names later. And can I now move? Interesting, now I can move forward. Okay, let's go. And uh, yeah, we just got the skill up. So. We now have slightly higher chance to hit with uh, one handed weapons. And. Okay, what's the chance to hit head 61? I think I still want to. Go for the highest chance to hit. This guy's pretty tough. Okay, another skill up. Left click to reload. I don't want to reload. I want to. Yeah, I want to try the burst. 67. Also 67. The chance to hit is the same. It costs more action points, but we can use a burst and then we can use the single shot. Might be better to first use the single shot. I think we can finish him off. If we hit, of course. Yep. And now with the burst, we'll try to hit Sarah. See how much damage we can do that way. And there is definitely a difference. Okay. Next. From what I remember, the SMGs are surprisingly good while using a single shot. Uh, except we missed twice this time. But, um... Oh, hey. 
running away, not far enough though. Really? Not yet. Let's move to the side. Someone, please. Finish her off. There we go. Still can't surge the corpses. Quarters. Perhaps we will find survivors here. Yeah, any description of what's behind these doors? You know, probably just rooms. Anything that we could interact with? No, but there is a corpse. But I can't interact with that either. Never mind. Let's take it a room at a time. And we'll see what we can find. Oh, door is locked. Okay. This is not locked. And Roger Crayson. Can we talk to him? Can. A man is standing near the doorway. He looks unkempt and a bit surprised. Who the hell are you? Where did you come from and where did you get the weapons? I hear you take out David and Sarah. Thank you. Uh, an emergency response team. Confusion and surprise are replaced with hope. The man's posture seems a bit more relaxed as the sudden realization that he's been rescued settles in. Unbelievable. Fully equipped and armed to the teeth. Seems you could be useful. Useful? Useful in the sense that you took out those shamblers once, my friends. Gods, what next? One second, we are sitting there uh, having a peaceful game of cards, and the next, well, two of my colleagues dead. Sort of. I wonder what other secrets the senior crew are hiding. Your colleagues. Yes, David and Sarah. Not much left of either now, thanks to you. I should thank you, though, that... Uh, uh, I should thank you, though that seems odd considering that uh, they were my friends. Yeah, just keep talking. I've been locked in here for days, listening to them shuffle around, mumbling nonsense. I'm not right, don't hurry them, on and on. I tried uh, accessing this terminal to see if I could communicate with the rest of the crew. No luck, the systems are locked down behind some very heavy security. I'm lucky David kept a stash of water and snacks in his room for the weekly card games or I'd be a goner. Though I must say that I'm a bit tired of pissing in a bottle. So thank you, what now? Yeah, that's a good question. I was hoping that uh, he would tell us what to do now. Mm. Anything you can tell me about the situation? Now let's start with that. Okay, shoot. Uh, really? That's it? Uh, the labs are locked. Do you know how I can get in? The only thing we can ask about. Right, well I might be able to bypass the wiring, but um, considering how well things are locked down, I can't guarantee uh, that's going to work. I do have an idea, but uh, you are going to need to do the legwork. I'm staying here until this is all resolved. Okay, so what's the plan? Uh, Roger Crayson smiles and shifts his position slightly. Before all of this. I was pretty good at hacking security systems. I'm a mechanical engineer by trade and a hobbyist hacker by night. In my nights in my room you'll find a hacking tool. This device will let you hack most doors, locked crates, things like that. Doesn't work on, com on computers, why? Uh, for that you need an injector. Okay. I had one but I broke it a few shifts ago. Couldn't find a way to fix it. Okay, got it. Hacking tool in your room. Yes, and bring it back to me. I'll cal calibrate it for you. With a little skill, you should be able to bypass the lab security panel and gain access. Hurry back, I'm getting hungry and the Emma's corpse smells terrible. My room is next door. The key code is 3782. Yeah, 
It's four numbers, the room is next door, and I'll still write it down because I am capable of forgetting the number in like three seconds. Uh, 782. Okay, which way? Uh, is it this room? Almost locked, so maybe this one. Oh, oh wait. Um, what was it? Thirty-seven eighty-two. Thirty-seven eighty-two. Enter. There we go. And we can check the locker, take some more ammo, and here we should find the hacking tool. Okay, it's a hacking tool. What is this? Basic Erlen pistol extended mag. Yeah, we can't use this. Some weapons have like modification slots so you can add all these modules to them but our basic weapons or we can't do it with our basic weapons so that will have to wait and we found shield upgrade yeah, that's definitely an upgrade so we'll equip that take and i think i should give the better shield to our tank uh here's shield so he has only five percent reduction for kinetic damage this one reduces kinetic thermal and electromagnetic. Yeah, it's not much, but better than we, what we had before. And I think I'll have to equip this. Oh, or do we have to modify it first? Probably that's what we have to do. Okay, let's go back to our friend. Roger. No, oh, I can't remove forward. Someone. What the hell? There we go. Uh, Roger Grant, snatching the hacking tool from your hand. All right, you found it. Yes, it was right where you said it would be. Okay, let's calibrate it. This will only take a moment. There you go. All set. You should be able to access the labs using the tool. It's calibrated to bypass the door security. However, it's going to leave a log entry with your data in it. I assume that won't be a problem. Yeah, that should be fine. Great. Be sure to drop by when this is all resolved. Uh, David left behind a nice bottle of foam. What is this? Broski here? Bruski? Whatever. Uh, I'd like to toast them and you when this is done. Meanwhile, I'm going to stay in this room and watch a few... Uh, signs whatever that is and uh, hacking and logs so again if you want to read the description please pause the video and let's move on i think should first check all these rooms in case there are some more surprises. Uh, there's something on the table. Like a data pad. A Mart Devereaux. Hmm. You read this one, right? No, that's something else. Wait, I'm a little bit confused. It's bought by the same person. Oh, we read this one. Right, that's when Kelly was doing something with the incinerator, and now we have this one. It's amazing this ship has held together for so long, 7,000 years now. We knew that when we set out, other than the catastrophic failure, the exterior hull, hull would lost, last forever in space without oxidation. Not to say the ship is in great shape. After all, these things were welded together in a hurry with whatever materials we could 
push into stable orbit. They try to make it nice. Paintings, furniture, vending machines. The truth is, it's a box of a rickety one at that. Okay. All that didn't tell us much, except you have a reason to be afraid that the ship would just fall apart. And let's check the other side. Okay, this looks like trouble. Ow. Okay, who is this? Candens Wolford and Ernie Matthews. We move inside. No, we are blocked. Let's wait then. I hope this is still fine and I won't hit one of our own. How many shots do we have? It better to just use single shots. Finally get something from the corpse. What the hell is this guy doing? I think I should be using the single shots all the time now because I think every time we shoot it's uh, an increase to the uh, to the weapon skill so the more we shoot the faster the skill will go up good okay, let's see what they dropped Um, or plasma container, okay, so that's just junk that we can sell later for a little bit of money. Uh, this. Also junk, but this one is actually quite valuable, 255 is decent price and just more junk. But we have a huge inventory, so we can take all of this. Solid later. Okay, nothing else in this room. Let's again, open the door with our tank. Nothing here. No. Empty. And last door. This looks nice. There's even something that we can interact with okay or info Emma Hofstad my poor plants uh, this is the third time I've woken up to find one of my plants dead how could Janet do this all they need is light, water, and some fertilizer. I think she's just trying to hurt me, and this was my favorite plant. Seeds taken from my own garden. I expect them to die out during the long intermediary cryo suspensions, but not during our regular shifts. Oh, so didn't tell us much. But maybe this will 
make more sense later. Anything else? Okay, so now we can enter the lab. Oh no, there's crew quarters B. Wait, can we go there first? What is this? Medical bay, labs, and on the other side. That's where we came from, right? Okay, let's just check crew quarters on the other side. If we can, that is. Okay, we can, and I think we'll be fighting again. And this time... Three or more zombies. They seem to be quite far. And there are three. One is coming from this side. Okay, I wanted to move forward, but since one is pretty close, I think I'll just stay here. Uh, zero percent chance. What the hell? That's the problem with SMGs. They have a uh, very short range. Actually, they like can shoot at this distance, but they're super inaccurate, so... Probably won't... Just wait, or you know what? Move further. So that we have enough room for our melee. Uh, you're gonna stay where you are. Back. Turn around. As for our tank. Uh, same problem with pistols. Uh, just... Not really good at longer distances. Okay, let's wait for them. See the third one. Okay, that one is coming from the back as well. Barney Rance. This is who? Terence Jones. And he's not attacking our tank. But they're not doing that much damage, so it's fine. And Greta. Humphleberry. Interesting name. Okay. Let's go. Next. Okay. Come on, you can do better than that. This guy is pretty tough. Well, not tough enough. Uh, and you can see that rifles are a lot more accurate. accurate. Where is the reload? Left click reload. Oh. There. Shoot once again. I'll just wait for them. One more attack. Okay. 
Good. Or I forget, let's reload everyone. Repaired harmonic containment flask. Junk again. This one is pretty expensive. 400. Not a bad price. And damage date drive, so this is again just junk. Nothing we can interact with in this room. Is it again just six rooms? Yeah. Here we have something we can search. Let's see, come on. Swat shotgun ammo. Don't have shotguns, but who knows? Maybe we'll need that later. Oh, there is locked. Can we do something about that? No. Okay. Why did we get that hacking thingy when we can't use it? What about this? Door is locked. Why is this guy not moving? Yeah, it, this definitely needs some improvement. Uh, the characters are not exactly responsive sometimes. But it's super early access game, so I think it's fine. It's not like when you click once or twice again, they won't move. So sometimes they don't react on the first command. Okay, so let's screw quarters. And let's check labs on the other side. Uh, I think we need our hacker in the front. Door is locked. What the hell? I know that it's locked. Do I have to equip that? Oh, wait. Okay, I need to equip it. And now I can hack the door. Um, oh yeah, it's not that difficult. Every number is getting faster. And there's only like four numbers, it's fine. But when it's five and six, then it's pretty fast. But then you don't have like a limited amount of attempts. So you can just write the code down as you go through it and you like lock it on the third attempt at worst every time. I think that that should be changed. The the hacking should be made more more complicated, or only like give you a limited amount of tries, like two two attempts maybe. But now I want to check these locked doors. Oh, the hacking tool maybe we can get in. No. Let's move our tank first again. Dr. Emily Jensen uh, is this the doctor that we are supposed to kill? Can you hear me? Hello? Yes, who is this? My name is Emily Jensen. Thanks God this worked. I was notified when you hacked the lab, uh, lab log. Dr. Ramos locked out your cryo systems and data implants. I feared I wouldn't be able to contact you. Hacking the door provided me with your comm channel. You must listen carefully. You are being deceived. What do you mean deceived? 
Dr. Ramos is not who you think he is. I believe he's, he has lost his mind. Either that, or he's always been a functional psychopath. Uh, the events that led to this emergency are mostly brought about by experiments he's been doing on the sleepers. Uh, experiments? Yes, he's been conducting conducting unsanctioned experiments on the tissue of a number of sleepers, in particular sleepers in the Watt Bay 1C, uh, the closest bay to the labs. What kind of experiments? It appears he's been tampering with the genetic structure of phage and injecting the virus into a number of the sleepers, gathering regular tissue samples. Normally, tampering with the sleeper in any way triggers an al an alert. Dr. Ramos bypassed those security alerts and um, conducting experiments over the course of five or six shifts. None of us had any idea. It's been quite a while. Um, how did you find out about the, about the tampering? Several weeks ago I went into the medical bay late in the evening to get a sleep aid. Uh, I'd been feeding a bit under the weather. I bumped into Dr. Ramos as he was leaving. He was in a hurry and thought it was uh, a bit odd that he didn't acknowledge me. I noticed a few drops of blood on the counter and took a sample. I don't know what prompted me to do this, but Dr. Ramos has always been a bit creepy. I gave the sample to Kelly Masters to run a few tests. Kelly uh, cornered me the afternoon of the next day and insisted she met me later that evening in the lab when everyone was off shift. We spent the entire evening analyzing the sample. It was phage, but unlike anything we had ever seen before, Kelly incinerated the sample the next morning and we uh, resolved to find out what Dr. Ramos was doing. Uh, can we talk about something else? I don't want to talk about something else. I would like to know more about this. Uh, what else can we talk about? What do you mean, mostly brought about by his experiment? Yes, well, I was the one who triggered the lockdown. After discovering what Dr. Ramos was doing to the phage virus and after viewing the results of his handiwork, I locked myself in my room. Since I am the senior scientist, I have access to our emergency protocols. I triggered the lockdown and interrupted your cryo sleep. Hey, this is getting more interesting. Experiments. Yes, uh, he's been conducting unsectional experiments, blah, blah, blah. We have heard this one before. Um, only what Bay 1, none of the others. Well, DNA matched a sleeper in that bay, so I'm only assuming none of us none of us had time to inspect the chamber. I do see references in the logs that 12 sleepers were extracted from, extracted from the vault in the bay. No other bay seems to have been tampered with. Okay. And what else? If you are to if we are to believe you, what do you want us to do? Right, I'm not sure about Dr. Ramos told you, uh, so I won't blame you for being suspicious. I'd like you, or I'd like to ask you to collect the sample from one of the victims. Take the sample to the lab and process it. I'll be able to access the results from the terminal in my room. Please take a sample to the lab and place it in the analysis chamber. Okay, Dr. Ramos mentioned you murdered Jason Toft. I'm pretty sure I didn't murder Jason. He's been wandering around outside my room for days, now moaning and uttering mindless babble. He's infected. I'm just glad he can't get through the metal bulkhead. Right, well, that settles that. Just another example of Dr. Ramos' odd behavior. I'm not sure what he's getting at by blaming me for Jason's murder, but I can only assume he's trying to manipulate you. Please, Harry, I fear for the rest of the crew. Other than Roger Crayson, the rest are dead so far. Oh my, I've been hearing noises and I knew Kelly was infected. I saw it happen. I had been hopeful. This is terrible news. Please hurry. We were all scheduled to re-enter Cryo in 12 hours. If the second shift uh, wakes, there is no telling what will happen. Hmm. And where are we supposed to get that issue sample? Um, there are four doors in the lab. I guess we'll just keep opening doors. But, wait, wait, wait. Just 
talking about the what chamber 1b or 1c uh can we check those details in the mission log okay i understand this but do we already have the tissue sample or do we have to get it somewhere I guess we'll just find out in the next episode. As I said, we'll uh, just keep opening doors and uh, at some point we should run into that analyzer thingy. Then we interact with it and see if it's all that we have to do or if we have to go back and probably find another zombie and get a piece of it. But well, this episode it's over now so as usual i hope that you liked it i hope that you're gonna join me for the next one again and until then have a good time bye bye